After applying the component on the PCB and removing the flux and other contaminants, we need to protect the contact surface of the board from corrosion and various atmospheric phenomena, such as humidity, oxidation and dirt. There are various protective varnishes – acrylic, urethane, epoxy, organosilicon and others. However, many of them are not very convenient to use. Some require drying in the oven, for example the KO916 varnish. Some make soldering difficult or even impossible, for example urethane. The sapon lock may even peel off after drying, as it is a removable varnish recommended for temporary circuit pattern protection while etching in the ferric chloride solution. Therefore, the optimal variant is the acrylic insulating varnish. Let's consider two examples, the Plastic 70 in aerosol and its domestic equivalent, the Plastic 71. The aerosol is easy to apply, it spreads evenly on the surface, but it is more expensive than the Plastic 71. The latter can be applied with a brush directly on the PCB contact tracks. You can even immerse the board into it. The varnish dries quickly at room temperature and is easily soldered with a soldering iron if you need to replace the components. After drying, the varnish creates a transparent, flexible, protective insulating and mechanically strong waterproof film. The film is resistant to acids, alkalis, various solvents as well as thermal and mechanical influence. It prevents current leakages, coronary effects, short circuits and electrical discharges. The varnish is often used for waterproofing of wood, cardboard and leather. It can be stuck to various materials, be it metal, plastic or glass. And, last but not least, the varnish does not lose its quantities for a long time.